Greetings, friends and speed enthusiasts. Welcome to a new video. Today, we will review the best qualification runs in the 16-second category from the seventh round of the quarter-mile drag races in Barranquilla 2023, featuring only motorcycles. We begin with a duel between Andres Arrieta on his AKT NKD 125 and Brandon Rivera on his Suzuki AX 100. Thanks to his reaction time, Andres Arrieta in his AKT NKD secures the victory. However, he takes the second position in the ranking, as only the elapsed time or AT is considered for qualification. His ET was 16.656 seconds, while Brandon Rivera on his Suzuki AX100 records an ET of 16.709 seconds, granting him the first position on the leaderboard. Next up for qualification is Diego Arrieta on his Bajaj Pulsar NS200. Unfortunately, Diego Arrieta experiences issues with his Pulsar NS200, resulting in a final time of 16.281 seconds, temporarily placing him in the first position. Now, it's time for Eduardo Garcia and his Suzuki AX100 to qualify. <laughs> With a time of 16.638 seconds, Eduardo Garcia on his Suzuki AX100 takes the second position. Next, we have Andres Padilla on his Yamaha DT150. With a time of 16.551 seconds, Andres Padilla on his Yamaha DT secures the new third position. The next qualifier is Edison Gomez on his Bajaj Pulsar NS200. <laughs>
Edison Gomez in his Pulsar NS200 jumps to the top of the leaderboard with a time of 16.145 seconds. Following that, Brian Padilla makes his run on his Bajaj Pulsar NS200. Brian Padilla on his Bajaj Pulsar NS200 records an impressive ET of 16.092 seconds, thus claiming the first position and leaving very little room for improvement. The next showdown features Andres Arrieta on his AKT NKD versus Brandon Rivera on his Suzuki AX100. Brandon Rivera on his Suzuki AX100 takes the victory, recording an ET of 16.189 seconds, which moves him from 6th to 3rd place. On the other hand, Andres Arrieta in his AKT NKD doesn't manage to improve his previous record and remains at the bottom of the table. Next up, we have a face-off between Jesus Rodriguez on his AKT NKD and Edison Gomez on his Bajaj Pulsar NS200. Thanks to his reaction time, Edison Gomez on his Bajaj Pulsar NS200 secures the victory. However, he doesn't improve his previous time. Meanwhile, Jesus Rodriguez on his AKT NKD, with a time of 16.146 seconds, takes the third position, coming within just 4 milliseconds of the second place finisher. It's now Giovanni Contreras' turn on his Bajaj Pulsar NS200. Giovanni's Contreras on his Bajaj Pulsar NS200, with an impressive time of 16.041 seconds, claims the first position, by a narrow margin of only 51 milliseconds. Next, we have the face-off between Alex Jr. Peinado on his AKT NKD 150 and Jesus Rodriguez on his AKT NKD. With a mere 26 millisecond difference at the finish line, Jesus Rodriguez secures the victory on his AKT NKD, however, he doesn't manage to improve his previous record. On the other hand, 
Alex Jr. Penado on his AKT NKDE with an ET of 16.425 seconds, takes the 8th place. Finally, closing out the qualifications is Yenser Vermora on his Bajaj Pulsar NS200. With a time of 16.089 seconds, Yesen Fermora on his Bajaj Pulsar NS200 takes the second position, narrowly surpassing the third place finisher by only 3 milliseconds and coming within 48 milliseconds of the leader. This concludes the qualifications, with 11 motorcycles qualified in this category, which will compete against each other in the finals for the championship trophy. But that will be in an upcoming video, so subscribe so you don't miss it. Thus we come to the end of the video, if you liked it, support us with a like and consider subscribing to see more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time.